Hey, well, this is lesson 9.2, where we're finding the surface area of pyramids now. So 9.1 was the surface area of prisms, and 9.2 is the surface area of pyramids. The big difference between a prism and a pyramid, remember that a prism had two bases that were connected by rectangles, and pyramids, like this one here, has only one base and a point and the point is connected to the base by triangles, okay? So it's got triangles for lateral faces and only one base. So it says a regular prism is a pyramid whose base is a regular polygon. So we will only deal with regular pyramids because we only want regular bases, and regular means that all of the sides on the base are, the, are congruent, as are all of the angles, okay? So this is a rectangle down here, but we know it's a square because a square is a regular quadrilateral. So to find the surface area of a pyramid, it's a little different than with a prism. So let's quickly review here. Our surface area for a prism, that was this is for 9.1, prism was the area of the base, remember a big B meant area of the base, plus another area of the base, plus the perimeter of the base times the height. Well for a pyramid, the surface area of a pyramid, we just have one base, so we do not add it again, and it plus now, they're not rectangles. This was a rectangle, so it was basically length times width, or the perimeter times the height. We need one-half perimeter times height because it's a bunch of triangles. And remember, a triangle is one-half base times height. So if we find the area of the base, and then we do half of the perimeter times the height, that gives us the surface area of a pyramid. So let's give it a try. Here's an example. It says find the surface area of the regular pyramid. And here we go right over here. Here's our pyramid. They found the net for us here, which means they broke it down. We have the base and then four triangles. All of the triangles are congruent triangles. So you could find the area of one of these and multiply by four because there are four of them. Or we can use this formula right here. Let's give that a try. Uh, I'll do it down here. Let's get the prism formula out of the way so we don't get confused. There we go. So surface area of a pyramid. The base, now the base, they only have one length here. But remember, it said it's going to be regular bases, which means all of the sides are the same. So it's 5 times 5 because it's a square. So 25 is the area of the base plus one half times the perimeter of the base. So five plus five plus five back there plus five more over here. So five, 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 and five is 20 times the height. And the height that we're talking about is this, it's called a slant height. It's not the height of the pyramid, which would be like if you could tie a rope to the point up here and drop the rope straight down to the center of the base. We'll talk about that uh, later on in a different lesson. We're talking the slant height, which is basically, if we were to rip this face, this triangle off, it's the height of the triangle. That's what we need. We call it the slant height. And the perimeter was 20, and the height is this 8 right here. So we have to do our multiplication first. We can't do our addition first. Half of 20 is 10, and 10 times 8 is 80, plus this 25 gives us a surface area of 105. It is still area, so it's centimeters, <laughs> inches I mean, sorry about that, inches squared. Hey, and that's what they came up with, too. Oh, they're smart people. And then we have an on-your-own down here. The on-your-own says, 
what is the surface area of a square pyramid, so much like the one we just did, with a base side of 9 centimeters and a slant height of 7. So similar, we will start with surface area, this is for number 1, equals just one base now because it's a pyramid, plus 1 half times the perimeter times the height. And notice I don't have any dots in there, but because these are all right next to each other, it means multiplication, or I could put the dots in there if you wanted. The base, it says that the uh, it's the base side, because it's a square, with a length of 9 centimeters. So basically, it's a 9 by 9 square on the bottom. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 1 half times the perimeter. Now, if it was 9, 9, 9, and 9 going across, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 9 more is 27, plus 9 more is 36 for the perimeter. And times the height, the slant height is 7. Well, 1 half of 36 is 18, and 18 times 7 is 126. So 126 plus 81 gives us a surface area of 207 centimeters squared. 207 centimeters squared. Well, now on page 365, they say finding the surface area of a triangular pyramid. And we're actually going to use the exact same formula here. Okay, the exact same formula. So let's look at their example here. We'll start with the formula. Surface area equals, and this is of, uh, I should have wrote that. I don't think I did it on, our, on your own problem. Surface area of a pyramid equals the base plus one half the perimeter times the height. Okay, so the area of the base. Now look at over here. Wow, it's got a lot of, it's got a little right angle mark here. It's got a right angle mark here and some lines and stuff. And it can get pretty confusing as to what you're looking at. So just focus on this triangle that is the bottom. Just focus on that for a moment. I'll try to cover up the rest of it. So if you'll look, what we want to find the area of the base, the area of that triangle, remember area of a triangle is one half base times height, little b base, just that length. And here this little right angle mark, this perpendicular mark touches the base and the height, so that red line right there. So it's 10 times whatever that arrow is, 8.7. So to find the area, I'm gonna write over here that the area of a triangle is one half base times height, so 1 half times 10 times 8.7. Half of 10 is 5. And 5 times 8.7 would be 4.3, no, 43.5. 43.5. So now that's the area of our base. We'll put that right here, 43.5. Now we need the perimeter of the base. Well, it's, remember, a regular triangle will be 10, 10, and 10. All the sides are the same length. So 1 half times 30, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, times the height. And now that's why they gave us that right here. That's the slant height that we need. And that is 14. We have to do our multiplication first. 1 half of 14 is 7, and 7 times 30 is 210, plus our 43.5. And we add those together, and we get 253.5 meters squared. Let's see if that worked out. 253.5. Awesome. And now they gave us a on your own number two here. It says, what is the surface area of this regular pyramid at the right? So remember, we're going to do surface area of a pyramid equals base plus one half, 
perimeter of the base times the height. And we look over here, and the base of this is a triangle. And we look at the little perpendicular mark here, touching the 6 and the 5.2. So to find the area of that triangle, it's 1 half base times height, little b. So 1 half times 6 times 5.2. And half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 5.2 is 15.6. So 15 and 6 tenths plus 1 half times the perimeter. So 6 here. This isn't labeled. This isn't labeled because they all have to be 6 because it's regular. And 6 times 3 is 18 times the slant height. And that slant height is right there, 10. A half of 18 is 9. 9 times 10 is 90. Plus our 15.6 gives us a total surface area of 105. 0.6 feet cubed. Oh, not cubed. Uh, that's volume. We'll get to that later this chapter. Squared. There we go. Now that we're done with the lesson, I would highly recommend that you go to page 366 and you work out some of these problems on your own. The odd problems would work out best because you can check the answer in the back of the book. Notice uh, this purple one down here. They give us a pentagonal pyramid. And you might think to yourself, there is zero chance of me figuring out what the area of that pentagon is because you don't know the formula. Well, if they give you anything other than a triangle or a square, they're going to just tell you what the area of the base is. See right there, they told you the area of the base. Even up here on this triangle, they just give you the area of the base. Well, that's wonderful of them. They're such nice people because then when you use this formula... You just plug the area of the base in for this, and you don't have to calculate it. You will still use it in your surface area calculation, but you don't have to calculate the area of the base. You just plug it in for the big B in the formula. Then you do still have to find the perimeter. So for this purple one, you would add 16 five times. Half of that multiplied by 20. Here, you would take 10 times 3, which is 30. Half of that times the height which is that nine right there. So work out those problems and check your answer in the back of the book and then go on to the homework for lesson 9.2, which is journal page 192.